What's up everyone? It's Pete from PeteIce.com. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It is early in the morning. That sea bass right there is hanging out with me while I'm doing my early morning workout on this Sunday. And uh, a lot of progress is going its way, but I'm not going to lie to you. Um, sitting inside and being dormant and uh, just sitting down and you know, I'm really giving my body that rest that it needs. You, you become lethargic it's like your body is just like it feels like it to me it feels like it's dying it feels like I'm I'm dying and my my body's dying my brain is dying my 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 goals are dying my everything that I've had before and that strive to be better and to be just became stagnant it felt stagnant why because I wasn't moving anymore yeah I was doing my rehab but I was feeling sorry for myself and I was feeling sorry for for what was going on with me but in, in actuality, things are being better. I'm moving better. I'm in a better place. I put myself in a better situation. I gave myself a better, a, a better hand in these deck of cards. You know? And it's easy to just fold. It's easy to just let it, just fold them over and quit the game. And that's what it felt like it felt like to me. And I was doing my rehab exercises and just hanging out. Um, Really feeling sorry for it and being very cautious because everyone says be cautious, be careful. And uh, I was watching a Bo Jackson 30 go in uh, 30 to 30, 30 by 30, I forget what it's called, the ESPN documentary. And this guy went right at it. And it's very inspiring to see another person go from a 28 year old double MVP in baseball and football, just a freak of nature. And then he ends up tearing out his hip having to get reconstructive uh, hip replacement and then coming back and playing Major League Baseball again for another couple of years. Now there's a, a big story to that is that of course he wasn't the same Bo Jackson that he was um, when he first started. Obviously it hindered him now but he was able to get up and he was able to drive towards that goal again and to make it to the Major Leagues. I'm just trying to make it to work. So right there and then it shut my brain off and shut off that, that negative that negative switch that always gets into people's heads. You know, it always gets in people's heads. It gets in my head. So, you know, you're not alone when, when I talk about that stuff. And to see that, that drive back in the day, it made me realize that this is not over. You know, it's really just what you think in your head and it's and how you take or how you're taking on um, the current situation. You know, I was dealt a new hand and the hand is a really good hand. But my choice inside when I was sitting down feeling sorry for myself was just to fold it. Instead, I should be playing with everything I got. You know? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this hand with everything I got. Now, that's the same thing with you guys. If you are dealt with a new deck of cards, you ever, it's a new deck. You get a new hand each time. But it all depends on how you're going to play your cards. I hope you really understand what I'm talking about because it makes sense to me. Because this life just shuffles, it shuffles, it shuffles. Your cards are shuffled every single day. Now you got a good hand in your, in your pocket. What are you going to do with it? Fold them or play? I say we play. I'll see you guys later. This is Pete, PeteSip.com. Seabass says peace out with his purple. Oh, we match. We match. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, guys.